today I'm going to be showing you a super duper exciting video. Today I'm going to be showing you some Lima tips and tricks. In other words, some Luma hacks. But um, these are kind of funny and they do kind of work, so make sure you remember these the next time you loom. And before we get on to the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to become a part of the hashtag Luma Squad. So without further ado, let's just get on to the hacks. Alrighty guys, so the first tip is to store your loom bands and your creations in airtight containers. So it's something like this where I keep my bands, it's airtight and that basically means is that no air can get in and obviously air is what makes the bands and your creations crackle and it just kind of deteriorates the bands so make sure you guys get a airtight container to put your loom bands and your creations in. <laughs> The next tip is to remove your base from your loom and a lot of people don't know this but you actually use the hook a base removal right here on the tip of the hook and all you do is you grab your loom pop it underneath and loosen it up and that's basically how you remove your base <laughs> Okay, so the next pack is for your Lumagurumi um, creations and you know how you have all of these sort of fluffy bits poking out right here? It's super annoying because it makes the design look terrible and not very clean and stuff like that and to fix that up, all you're gonna need is a pencil. So when you use your pencil, all you do is you press the pencil into the little Lumagurumi um, stitch holes to put the stuffing back into the design. And now it's all nice and clean and adorable. And the next tip is a storage tip. And I don't know if you guys have seen my storage clean out. It's in the iCard up there. Make sure you guys go check that out. But the tip is to use cardboard boxes. So this is just a normal shoe box and I kept it obviously. And here I keep all of my package of bands. And this leads to the next half. So when I store my bands, I love to put them in a huge Ziploc baggies and this keeps them airtight as well and obviously it's big enough to put a lot of bands in there. When keeping them in the packaging, like this Rainbow Loom um, packaging, it obviously kind of comes undone and then I lose all my bands and it's super inconvenient so to make sure you go use some airtight Ziploc bags. Alrighty, so the next tip is to use double bands. I bet you guys know too well of the absolute devastation when you lose your whole design because one single band snap. Alrighty, I'm ready to loom. Okay, I'm just gonna put a band on. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? And my recommendation and hack for this is to use, obviously, double the bands. So obviously it is so much easier if you just use two bands because it eliminates the risk of you losing your whole entire design. And you might know that Happy Foods does this a lot, so Phil and Spiffy, she uses double bands as well as me for a lot of my creations. So it's just a lot more sturdy, a lot more 3D and um, it just keeps it shape better as well. So there's some great benefits for using double bands. And the next hack, yes I'm on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why. And the next hack is to use a latch hook. So I actually don't have a latch hook, but I really want to get one because they are a lifesaver. So this latch hook helps you when you do designs such as this adorable llama and this adorable happy strawberry. And obviously because you're doing a lot of cat bands and making bands like that so you can put them on the loom, it saves so much time and it's a lot more convenient and easier on your hands. So if you can, get your hands on a latch hook, they're super great and they help you a lot with happy foods. So that's the hack. Alrighty, so the next hack is a stuffing hack. And for designs such like this Happy Dango, a lot of people don't have the stuffing or simply can't really buy it, um, even now in this COVID-19 situation. These are super great ideas for you to stuff some of your designs with. 
So you can use a bands to stuff your designs with. I've used a lot of my multicolored bands and bands that I don't really need in my creation. So that's a super great way to fill up space so you can stuff your designs. But obviously if you guys don't want to use a bands, which is like super understandable because bands are quite precious, you can always use tissues. So I use a lot of my tissues for a lot of my designs including the Happy Dango because I don't really have enough stuffing for that. So yeah, you can always use tissues if you don't have any stuffing. And for the next hack, it's kind of a storage hack, kind of like a display sort of creation sort of thing, but it is to use Yes, a toilet roll. But just please hear me out. So this is to um, store and display your bracelets. So I know you guys probably have heaps and heaps of bracelets like I do. So all you do is you pop them on and kind of squish them close together so that there's no sort of tissue roll um, showing. But yeah, it's a super cute hack and it's adorable and I actually really, really like it. So. Make sure you guys go save those toilet rolls and put your bracelets on them, so, yeah. Oh, you guys are still here? We need more hacks. I've done so many already. Oh wait, I just remembered one. So the next hack is to use metal hooks. Metal hooks are literally lifesavers. They are so much better than plastic hooks. If you guys use plastic hooks, what are you guys doing? I've had so many plastic hooks that have literally snapped from um, too much pressure. So make sure you guys go get yourself a really beautiful, good metal hook. And the next tip is just to have fun with rain balloon. So of course, rain balloon is such an amazing thing and I love it so, so much. So make sure you guys just enjoy it, love it, and just to have fun. So yeah, that's the last tip of this video. Alrighty guys, so that's the end of all the hacks, tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe took something from it. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to become a part of the hashtag Luma Squad. And make sure you guys check out the shoutouts at the end of the video. All you guys have made such beautiful comments and I'm so so grateful and I love you guys supporting me so so much. Rain Balloon's coming back in 2020. And I'll see you guys in my next looming video. Bye bye! You guys are amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you. Bye!